Here's a multiple trail junction. This would be the Sassafras Loop, which I also will leave to imagination for now. Surely I'll be back here. And I'm gonna try Appy's Way. See it. What that's like. That's another old sort of forest cart track. I wonder if these were the original working roads for hauling marsh hay back because I believe at one time that was a significant agricultural commodity. It was used to assist low temperature concrete curing, among other things. Still haven't seen too much of the sun, but by way of compensation, we also haven't seen any notable rain. It's just one of those sort of suffused light, misty days. The bright beacon of a Oh, air sort of warm too, as if it were coming from the south. I haven't really checked the compass direction of it. Well, this area even has hemlocks. So that would suggest northern side of a upland slope, even if it's a modest one. Huge brush piles. for the scenic overlook and then you take Appy's way that away and the parking lot beyond okay we climb a bit of a hill Packed with brick. Interesting pattern. I wonder if it's an old lightning scar. There's another one. There's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, it couldn't be lightning scars. Pretty impressive. Look at all the happy. Huh. It's like some kind of little muskrat shack.
extensive view. Birds of every description and a cloud deck of low brooding stratus as far as the eye can see. Birds galore. Sort of following the shrubbery edgeway where it meets the marsh. Okay, get out of here. Follow the rest of Appy's way and begin figuring out the way to rally. And a fine scenic overlook it was. There's where we came from, where the <coughs> Appy's way meets the Sassafras Trail uh, at the upper end of its relationship to Professor Chandler's long walk. There's the way to the scenic overlook. And this aspect of Appy's Way will bring us to its meeting with Professor Chandler's long walk closer to the parking lot and my own longer walk to the Raleigh train station before 5.45, at which point this town dies until around 9 and I'd be stranded. But we won't let that happen. <laughs> you can see they sort of made little trail edges over the years with various fall wood. An altogether charming concept. All in all, it was a pretty impressive way to spend a day. The volunteer staff at Joppa Flats were rightfully excited by these developments. into a kind of pine zone. Oh, what have we here? Is it our return to the main trail? It, I would imagine it is. Or is it just... No, it's just another little Side road run. Yeah, this is probably another marsh hay harvest access road. Looks like somebody dumped a bunch of lawn sods there. <laughs> Not so sure about that. Probably predates acquisition. Since a reunion with the main trail can't be far away. And so it is at hand. Yep. 
the lower parking lot side of Appy's Way. Spine of it all, Professor Chandler's beloved long walk. And now it's back to the parking lot, which is this way. This will bring you all the way out to an outstanding view at the end where you may be fortunate enough to spy on large white bird things. Herons or egrets, I think they were herons. I'll have to look. But they put up with my presence for a surprisingly long time. The lower and meeting with the Sassafras Trail, appropriately uh, bolstered by an actual Sassafras sapling. <laughs>